The ocean is vast and mysterious. The ocean sustains life, and people all over the world are connected to it and depend on it. And for me, it begs to be explored. My name is Stacy Beerwagon, and I am a marine ecologist. Every form of research begins with a question. My question is, what role do gray reef sharks play in maintaining healthy ecosystems on the Great Barrier Reef, and how do they differ from other predators? Historically, we only have a basic idea of the role gray reef sharks play to an ecosystem and what they eat. I want to determine the interactions and relationships sharks have with their prey and if competition with other predators plays a role in movement. To do this, we need to go beneath the surface and observe much more than sharks. Reef systems are extremely complex, so we need a lot of tools to create a map of what these systems look like and how species interact. Research is essentially like a puzzle, and if we're missing pieces, we'll never get an idea of the full picture. I fish for sharks to tag them and take small tissue samples for chemical analysis. The fishing and tagging gives us an idea of the types of sharks in an area and how many. Chemical analysis shows us what they eat, and we can use this to get a much better idea of predatory roles of sharks on reefs. I also implant acoustic tags in gray reef sharks that transmit to underwater listening devices documenting their movement. From these listening tags, we see where these sharks spend most of their time around the reef and see how they move compared to other tagged predatory reef fish, such as coral trout. We know that gray reef sharks don't move far from where they were tagged at the reef area I study in the Townsville sector. If sharks stick around in small areas, it means that they have enough food there. So what's next? I'm also using multiple visual underwater survey methods to really see the best picture of the reef community by surveying reefs and documenting types of habitat and fish that occur in areas where I have tagged sharks. By combining all of these methods, we can understand what the whole reef community looks like in relation to sharks, and then use statistical models to identify relationships among predators and prey. So why do we need all this information? By understanding distribution and abundance of prey, we can get an idea of how many sharks a reef can currently support and which aspects of the reef as a whole keep sharks around. Ultimately, we needed to understand how important gray reef sharks are for the future of coral reefs and what would happen to reefs in Townsville if they were to move on.